Uh, let's welcome our online audience in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to welcome every one of you. Thank you for taking time to watch uh, from uh, Deliverance Church Nyeri. And I want to assure you and to guarantee you that you are going to be blessed and your life is going to be changed for the glory of God and for your benefit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to speak very briefly because uh, uh, this is a special day that we, are, we have. And I want to, uh, to give it ample time so that we can be able to do what the Lord has commanded us to do in Jesus' name. Today, I have a, a very a simple message, a very simple title uh, that uh, God has given me. And uh, today, I just want to ask to speak about knowing Christ, knowing Christ. Or knowing Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, in these days that we are living, we need to understand and we need to know whom Jesus is so that the purpose for which uh, God made him to come into this world can be fulfilled in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We are living at a time where everybody is saying that they are born again. But as, as, um, as they say they are born again, when you look back and see the actions that follow them, you see the character that follow those people that are saying that they are born again. You hear the words that these people that uh, claim to be born again are talking, you see no, uh, uh, no what? No connectivity at all or no, no relationship at all. Because what you say and host, what you do is totally different from what is commanded in the word of God. Hallelujah. And therefore, when we know who Christ is, or when we know and understand and have a revelation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, many things in our lives will change. Hallelujah. Let's look at the definition of the word know. To know is to be aware, is to be aware of either through observation inquiry or information that is the number one definition of the word no the second uh, definition is to develop a relationship with someone through meeting and spending time with them and be friendly or be familiar or friendly with hallelujah so when we talk about knowing, we are talking about developing a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are talking about knowing uh, 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 our Lord Jesus Christ by spending time with him. Uh, we are talking about being familiar, all friendly with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know uh, Jesus already has ascended to heaven. And therefore you may not understand, you may, may be, it, a, it may not be understandable how we are supposed to, be, to spend time uh, with Jesus so that we can familiarize ourselves or we can be friendly with him. But I want to let you know that knowing about someone is very, very important. And I want us to go to the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 16. And we are going to start from verses uh, uh, 13. Matthew 16, and uh, from verses uh, 13. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea, Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Mm -hmm. 
So they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, all one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Okay. Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said to him, blessed are you Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of heads shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bowed in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he commanded his disciples that they should not tell, they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. We need to ask ourselves, why did Jesus bother the disciples by asking them this question? Yet Jesus knew that he has been with these disciples from the time that he started his ministry or somewhere uh, in his ministry. Because all these disciples, he, it is Jesus who called them from uh, their various uh, activities and he called them and he said from today, you are going to be my disciples. And therefore, uh, it comes a time that uh, Jesus came to Caesarea. And when he came to Caesarea, he asked, he asked the disciples, who do people say I am? Hallelujah. In other words, how do people know me? Eh? And uh, some say it, some say you are John the Baptist. Others say you are Elijah. Others say you are one of the prophets. Hallelujah. Remember we are talking about knowing Christ or knowing Jesus. If you are asked the same question today, how can you answer? Who is Jesus to you? Is he like uh, John the Baptist? Is he like uh, Elijah? Is he like one of the prophets? Or how can you describe Jesus today if the same question was directed to you as it was directed to the disciples of Jesus Christ? And I, can, I believe and I want to pray that every one of us, we can have the same answer as Peter, that you are the Christ, the Son of of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because as believers, the people that are called by the name of the Lord, the people that have been delivered by the blood of Jesus, then we are supposed to be the people that are able to describe Jesus to others. But we cannot be able to describe Jesus and we cannot be able to let uh, Jesus be known to others if ourselves we have not known him. And it is not a knowing about Jesus. It is knowing him. It is having a personal relationship together with him. It is having a fellowship together with him. It is being afraid of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're seeing what a friend we have in Jesus. But is Jesus your friend? Is Jesus my friend? Is Jesus the Christ, the Son of, living, uh, of the living God 
to me and to you. Because in these last days, when everyone seems to be confused, when everyone seems not to understand the power that is in Jesus Christ, when everyone, when they stand, the first thing to, to say is praise the Lord or praise Jesus. Hallelujah. There's no sin in that. But do you have an encounter with Jesus Christ? And when we go to the, back to the, to, to the Garden of Eden, when, Ma, when God created man and he created Adam and Eve and placed them in the Garden of Eden, he used to come in the cool of the day so that this man, Adam and Eve, can be able to have a fellowship and a relationship uh, with, uh, with God. And every day he used to visit them. Hallelujah. And that's why we are here today, so that we can have an encounter with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We can be able to know him in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we can be, we can, we, when we know him, we shall be separate from the world. Though we are going to be staying in this world, because when Jesus was ascending into heaven, in the book of John, he said that he is not going to pray for us to be removed out of this uh, world, but he is going to pray that we are given the power to overcome this world. Hallelujah. And that is the only time we shall be separate, we shall be different, we shall be distinguished from the others. Hallelujah. Because uh, in, the, in the time of Jesus, why Christians were called Christians is because they had the character of Jesus Christ. They were behaving like Jesus Christ. They were doing things like Jesus Christ. And therefore, they were referred as Christians. Nowadays, do we do or do we behave like Jesus Christ? The entire week that we have spent, have we behaved like Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Have we separated ourselves? Or we are just doing things like the others? If you know Jesus, if you know Christ, there must be a difference. Hallelujah. I want to say again, if you know Jesus, there must be a difference. Hallelujah. That does not mean that challenges will not come your way. Temptations will not come your way. Trials will not come your way. They will come your way. Even to Jesus himself, they came his way, but he overcame. Hallelujah. And because he overcame, he says we are more than overcomers. We are more than conquerors in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Therefore, as we look about, we look unto uh, knowing Jesus, we go to the book of uh, John 14 and verse 6. As we get to know Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Jesus was trying to explain to the disciples and uh, Thomas came and said, uh, Thomas had an argument with Jesus and he told, he told him, which, which way are you talking about? Which place are you saying that we know? And therefore he said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. As we get to know Jesus, as we get to know Christ, we have to know that the way to the Father is Jesus Christ. The truth is Jesus Christ. The life is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
When you understand that, as a believer, as a child of God, you are going to be transformed. And no kind of doctrine will ever be able to distract you or to remove you from what you know in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. So anything that is outside Jesus Christ is not the truth. Anything that is uh, outside Jesus Christ is not life. Anything that is out, outside Jesus Christ is not the way. Hallelujah. And we need to know that in these final days or in these last days so that we are not swayed away, so that we are not taken away from what was deposited in us from the beginning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Right now there are so many doctrines that are spreading around. There are so many teachings that are going around. There are so many prophecies that are uh, going around. There are so many things that are happening. But if you don't anchor yourself in Jesus and know him as the truth, as the way, as the life, and know that there is no one who can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ, then you will uh, you will toe the line and you know that this gospel that you have, uh, you have received uh, through Jesus Christ is the true one in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you are not, uh, they are not coming to tell you that now Jesus is a white man, Jesus is a what, Jesus is a, a, a son of Mary, Jesus is a what. No, you know it might be true what they are saying. Or it may seem true what they are saying. But you know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And that is what is going to make us strong in this world. That is what is going to make a way for us, even during these times that are, uh, that are uncertain. We are going through the campaigns when we know that Jesus is the way, when we know that Jesus is the truth, when we know that Jesus is the life, we shall not be afraid. Hallelujah. We shall not do what? We shall not be afraid because deep within us, we know we are following the right way in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we go to the book of John 8, verse 31 and verse 32. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. So he said, John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And here he is telling the disciples or the, the Jews who have believed in him that when you have believed in me, you are truly my disciples. Hallelujah. And when you are my disciples, then you shall know the truth. What is the truth? The truth is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And when you know this Jesus Christ, then you shall be free and you shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. So there is no other thing that shall make you free. There is no other thing that it shall make you or shall set you free, free from anything that may be oppressing you, but the truth that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, release and let go all your struggles and anchor yourself on the knowledge of Christ as the truth. And then when you know this truth, this truth 
will set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Are you oppressed today? Are you confused today? Are you complaining today? Hallelujah. The truth is in Jesus Christ. And when you know this truth, it shall set you free in every circumstance, in every area, in every environment, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we need to know about Jesus Christ. We need not to know about Jesus Christ. We need to know Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. Paul was a person who was uh, preaching the word of God. He was an apostle. He was an anointed man. But it came a time that he said and he confessed that he wants to know Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection. Because when you know Jesus Christ, I want to tell you, life will be different for you. Life will be different for me. Hallelujah. But you cannot know about Jesus Christ unless you yourself, you have made your mind and you are willing and you are obedient to do what Jesus said in, Jesus, uh, in his word, uh, in his word, so that you can be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The book of uh, Romans 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you, uh, you present yourself, uh, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. So, Paul is uh, beseeching uh, the Roman church, and he is telling them, I plead with you, I ask you, I pray that you shall offer yourself or your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Hallelujah. And then he tells us, or he advises us, that we should not be conformed to this world, but we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Hallelujah. And our minds can only be renewed in Jesus Christ. Our minds can only be renewed when we know Christ and know him deep uh, in uh, uh, and know him deeper. Hallelujah. Then, our minds, when we know Jesus, our minds shall be renewed. So that every time, we shall prove what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And remember, Jesus said, it is good for me to ascend or to go to heaven because when I ascend to heaven having completed and accomplished my task then the father will send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who is going to reveal all things. The Holy Spirit is the one that is going to be our comforter. The Holy Spirit, Spirit is the one that is going to advise us. And the Holy Spirit is the one that knows the might of God. So we have received Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. We have Jesus, received Jesus, the truth that sets us free. And by that, we also receive the Holy Spirit that makes us to know the perfect will of God. And we cannot know the perfect will of God unless Jesus is in us. The Holy Spirit has infilled us so that we can be able to understand the perfect 
will of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And this confusion that is uh, here with us, it shall be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Philippians 3 and verse uh, 11. Not that I, I have already attained or I am already perfected, but I press on that my, I may lo, lay hold of that for which Christ has also... Uh, okay. What is it? One's the ten? Ah, yeah. One's the nine. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his, of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death. Hallelujah. Romans has told us that we should not be conformed to the patterns of, the, of this world. But now, Romans is tell, uh, Paul is telling us in the Philippians that we should be conformed to the death of Jesus Christ. And this can only happen when we know him and the power that raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when we have a deep knowledge of Jesus Christ. I want to tell you, churches will change. Nations will change. Companies will change. Uh, because we shall see the power of God working in, our, in, in, in every part of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And my prayer is that this month of March, of March, we shall go deeper. We shall go back to the crossroads so that we can retrace our steps. And where we lost the way in the knowledge and understanding of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we shall, uh, we shall, we shall recorrect and we shall move ahead. Where we diverted, we shall come back to the way. Where we compromised, we shall repent and we shall come back in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We cannot, we cannot say and we cannot confess that we are born again. And we are doing the things the same way the world is doing. There must be a difference. Hallelujah. And I normally tell people, and this is what I have observed. If those people that are not born again cannot call you born again, then you have a problem. Hallelujah. Those people that you stay with in that estate, or in that, uh, in, the, in, that uh, in those rented houses or the neighborhood where you stay, if they don't know your salvation, then probably you have not had a proper encounter with Jesus Christ. And I want to say it is not a must that you say you are born again they will ask you. They will tell you. And they will reverence your God. But if it, the testimony is only from you, it is only you who knows you are born again. That's why some people cannot invite anybody to, to church. Because they will ask you questions. But when we have a deeper revelation, a deeper knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our character, our behavior will, 
will testify and will call many, will attract many to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of us, maneno ambayo tunatamuka, yale tuna, the kind of words we speak to our neighbors is terrible. But I pray from today, we shall have a deeper revelation of Jesus Christ. Just as Paul said, I want to know him, and I want to have a fellowship with him. I want to know him and the power that pulled him from the grave and raised him again in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I believe when we know Jesus Christ, and know that whenever Jesus, wherever Jesus went, he did good. Then us, as representatives, as ambassadors, as people who are called by the name of the Lord, we shall do the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We shall do what? We shall do the same in Jesus' name. And we shall be able to change our families. We shall be able to change our, our places of work. We shall be able to change our businesses and everything in Jesus' name. The others may be going uh, to seek powers from whatever. But you know that the power that is in Jesus Christ is above every other power in the name of Jesus Christ. And with Jesus there is nothing that you can never do in Jesus' name. Because he said, the things that you have seen me do, you will do more than this. Why are we not doing them? It's because our knowledge of Jesus Christ is in the service. Our knowledge of Jesus Christ is shallow. Therefore, even when we want to exercise what Jesus did, we doubt ourselves. But when we know who Jesus is, there is no situation that you cannot confront. There is no situation that I cannot confront. There is no person that I cannot confront because I have Jesus. When you have Jesus, you have everything in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, because I want to add so that we can give our, our sacrifices and then give our, our money for the project, is uh, we can add with uh, John 3.16. And I want to say that uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. I want to add by saying that uh, everywhere that there is Jesus Christ. Everywhere that Jesus appears, we see that for God so love. Separate when you know uh, that gave. Hallelujah. So you cannot separate when you know uh, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you, saw, you know that Jesus is the truth. And this is the truth that sets us free. And so God loved and because of his loving, he gave. Hallelujah. And I know that today, I am speaking to people who love God. And because we love God, we have given ourselves to God. We have given our substances to God. We have given part of what God, ha God has given us unto him. And this is what we are going to exercise today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you and I bless you for your word today. I pray that my Father, you'll give us a deeper revelation of whom you are in our lives. You'll give us a deeper revelation, my Father, of the things that, my Lord, you have endowed us with, O oh God, the power that you've released unto us, O oh God, the anointing that you have released unto us, our Father. I pray 
in the name of Jesus Christ, as we walk in this world, as we wait uh, uh, for your second coming, our Father, we shall be more than conquerors, my Father. We shall be more than overcomers, our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, you shall empower us with your knowledge, my Father, that, Lord, we may be able to do exceedingly abundantly above, my Father, even what is in us, in the name of Jesus. I thank you and I bless you because you are the power that works within us, O God. You are the power that propels us, my Father, to greater destinies, my Father. You are the power that makes do us do the supernatural in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that in the name of Jesus, every person that I listen to your word today, they shall be empowered for miracles and wonders in this year of great catch in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you and I honor you, for I pray in Jesus' name. Let us say amen and let us appreciate the Lord with a heart this morning in the name of Jesus. Ah, we can do better than that. We can give the Lord a better shout this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, our Father. Lord, I pray for every person that may be here and they are not born again. I pray that my Father, this shall be their day of salvation. This shall be their day to know you. This shall be their day to confess you as Lord and Savior. I thank you and I bless you because you have already called them unto you. I bless you and I honor you.